let me run this code you see it printed before async and await then it printed after async and await now observe the observe the code carefully so if let's say this was not there async and await was not there correct then javascript script would have executed this in the similar way like Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself, Fasan. I hope you all doing well. So, if you see me for the first time on the internet, I'm a content creator who help people to clear their interview. I made lot of beautiful series in the past, and I'm continue to add lot of videos to the same series as well. Okay. So that's all about myself. And now let's get started with the content of the video. So I. what you saw on internet what you saw on the thumbnail was uh, maybe quite confusing for most does async await block the javascript main thread maybe unless you saw this line for the first time uh, you always had at the maybe whatever your mindset but now you start getting confused does it block or does it does it not block so if i had to broadly categorize the audience at least 75% who are preparing for the interview will know what is async and await but now after looking at this question they are getting confused 25% of the folks may not know what is async and await i'm try to touch base on async and await to promise in this video but not very much in depth because i have already made a detailed video about promise in the past i try to link that in fact more than 3 4 videos i have made i'll try to link that on the screen also in the description section so watch the entire promise series so that you'll get a proper sense of how async and await are executed in java script why promise are inquiry required and uh, probably what is async and await okay after watching those videos if you come to this video it will be very helpful for you okay now let's get started with the simple coding okay so function um test promise 1 okay and um, log no no not log return promise dot resolve 1 okay in case if you don't know what i'm doing here the i would highly advise you to go and watch my promise series where i've explained all of this step by step okay now so for those of you who don't know very simple words if i have to tell i've created a promise now i'm going to call the promise from outside the function okay so test promise dot you know promise generally have then finally catch etc so i'm calling then data log data is data okay so now if i run this code so i'm getting data is 1 correct which is absolutely right you have created a promise so you are able to get this data so basically promise will help you to achieve versing to unity in javascript as most of you know so now what i'll do i will extend this example okay i'll create two more promise so test promise 2 and uh, promise 3 test promise 3 okay so now rather printing it here i'll do this so this is num1 num2 promise 2 okay and uh, promise 3 and uh, num3 here okay and i will log num1 plus num2 plus num3 okay num1 plus num2 plus num3 so basically in this case if you see i have three promises created promise one promise two promise three both are resolving into a number 1 2 3 and i have a use case where i mean this use case may not happen in your day to day but imagine a use case where you have to call multiple promise one is at another okay so same i'm trying to mimic here with a simple example so if i run the code i'm getting 6 which is sum of 1 2 and 3 so there are times in your real time or in the in the programming also where you you have to nest the promises like this so as you can see after third level itself it is start looking ugly so to avoid this you use the async and await so async and await actually refers for a syntactical sugars okay so they help you to basically code this in a much clean and neat way okay so now that most of you know in fact i have written a beautiful article about does async and await block the main thread here and this is one of the article that was a uh, lot of people have viewed it and i think still most haven't understood this properly so i thought of creating a video and explaining it because somebody is still debating like what to explain is right or somebody telling you know what to explain is wrong okay so i tried thought of making this video to so, uh, um, clear all the problem that people are facing okay now let's come back here and i what i'll do i will make all these functions async okay because i have to if i have to use an await then the function has to be async okay now i'm do creating another async function called test okay function test so then i'm doing await test promise i'm sorry test promise 1 okay then i'm doing await test promise 2 then i'm doing await test promise 3 okay 
So here I'm doing cons number one. Okay. Same I'm doing here also cons num two. Same I'm doing here also cons number three. Okay. So command KF will format your code. Maybe control KF will do that on the Windows. Okay. Now I'm logging. Sum is or else let's not you know to have a sum. Just I'll print num one plus num two plus num three. Okay. So uh, like I mentioned, uh, async and await are syntactical sugars. Basically, they help you to they don't avoid you to do the promise nesting, but they'll help you to write that in a very beautiful fashion. Okay. Now, so if I run the code, let me first run the code. I haven't invoked the test. Let me invoke the test from here. Okay. Six. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll put a log statement here. Okay. Uh, before before async await, okay. Then I let a statement called after async await, okay. So now let me run this code. You see, it printed before async and await. Then it printed after async and await. Now observe the observe the code carefully. So if let's say this was not there, async and await was not there, correct? Then JavaScript script would have executed this in the similar way, line by line execution, correct? So where first line it will execute this, then it would do any other operation here then it will go to the next line whenever there is an async and await what was our expectation basically so basically the expectation is javascript should move that logic into the event loop like as you see here correct whenever there is a main thread is been busy it will move the things to the heap okay or there is event loop concept entire event loop concept but in very simple words whenever the main thread is doing some operation and there is any asynchronous activity like set a mode promise etc it will move into the heap memory and once they are done the execution they should they'll get back to the queue and whenever main thread is free it will execute it correct so i guess most of you would know this uh, if not please read that art, uh, uh, the developer.mozilla.org link i'll try to put that on the description section so now here if you are now observe carefully isn't it being a synchronous activity rather being an asynchronous where this printed unless this entire operation was completed this is not getting printed so does async and await block the main thread see the purpose of asking this is to trick basically <laughs> But now, at least by now, if you are thinking what is the right answer, please do mention that in comment section. Okay. If not, then I'm going to explain in a while. Okay. So now let me decode this. Let me make this a little more trickier. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll put this here before calling test. After calling test. Now guess the output. What will be the output? The order of locks. What is the order of locks now? I know it is get, um, might be making a little confusing. The purpose of making this is to, you should have a very solid understanding of a single and await or a promises. So by the end of this, definitely you will get that. Okay, so please, uh, please stay tuned with me. So now let me run this. Okay, definitely you will get to know what is the answer. So before calling test, okay, then before async and await, okay, then after calling test, then after async and await, correct? And this log and after async. And, so order is one, two three four am i right so this was the one and the, this is two this is three and this is four now you're still thinking it is blocking main thread i don't know how many of you thought it is blocking main thread but it is not blocking the main thread to clarify okay so where this is the we are calling the this one before calling, obviously that gets printed first. As soon as you call test, this is get printed because main function can main thread can directly execute it. Doesn't need any computation, so it executed. And this is an async block. So main thread came back from this out of the function and it gave it created a separate context. Let us fin uh, for it to finish the execution. It printed it. Then the main thread is free, and this asynchronous task also got completed. Okay, so it came back. Then it added this the log and it printed. Okay, uh, it is printed its log, and after that it printed this also. So now the quite confusing question is, if where is why these two lines are getting printed after the execution? Because this can be printed immediately, correct? This doesn't require a processing. Uh, the whatever the promise is happening now that that order is is not actually required, correct? But technically, what is happening because of the async and await and the promise whatever we have, correct? It is similar to this promise. Mm, let me write here. So test promise 
I'm sorry, test promise one dot then and you have the number one, correct? So similarly, if you nest this with test promise two and with test promise three, test promise two and test promise three, okay? So now what is happening? These two log statements, whatever you are seeing, okay so async and await are kind of making the execution block to wait until something processed correct so definitely the uh, uh, that main thread will not pass through this and come here so it is similar to having these two statements here okay and this statement is here okay now i think you got the analogy like i mentioned before also async and await will not uh, um, block the main thread and whatever the promise nesting that is happening right even that is also not stopped because of async and await async and await will only syntactical sugars rather writing it in a three nested way it will help you to write in a three lines one by one like this okay that's all happening so the reason i'm asking is lot of candidates get confused with this question in the interview okay i don't know any big company asking this but definitely if anybody asks you definitely candidates get confused especially with the two of these logs where this requires a value of computation of the uh, async activity and this doesn't require anything can be logged directly what is the process how the execution happens correct so this is the purpose of my video i guess most of you got async and await does not block the main thread okay please read my medium article also where i've clearly explained this uh, this concept step by step okay but this might be having a lot more working code compared to there okay so that's all about this video if you're liking my content that i make on the youtube please do like my videos do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks this because this question i'll try to put in github uh, download the project from github and practice this question try to start my github project read all my medium blogs i've written a lot of beautiful articles and follow me on medium also okay thank you so much catch you next video